Yeah, I'm No, 18 awesome. years old. Yeah. You look like you must be an old soul. <laughs> definitely, definitely an old soul, that's for sure. <laughs> now, tell me, you picked up a guitar a year ago. I picked up a guitar a little over a year ago now. I always tell people, um, I picked up a guitar and two weeks later I wrote a song on accident. Um, because that's literally what happened. I uh, went downstairs, told my parents, hey, I just wrote a song. And they were like, you did what? And I was like, yeah, check it out. And I played it. And so you wrote like, it and played for them? I wrote it and played for them. And they were like, wow, you know, we gotta, we gotta look at this. And I was on my way to medical school, um, had a full scholarship, and picked up a guitar and haven't been able to put it down since. And, scholarship on what? Uh, for, to medical school. Okay. For college, yeah. yeah so, for um, academics then? You didn't yeah. go there on sports or something? No, on academics, yeah. 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 Well, I was a basketball player too. I mean, I could have gone probably for basketball also. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, I was definitely for academics. So, um, but everything, I mean, I really haven't had to work that hard to make connections. They've just kind of come to me, you know, just through word of mouth. When you're good, you know, people talk about you and you get to where you need to go. And uh, now I'm in Canada and uh, things are going really well here, actually, even better than they are in LA. So I'm hopefully working with Rick Rose and Gary Borden. Um, get some. Two local studs? Yeah, two local Star studs. Star makers? Definitely, yeah. Um, and Tangerine, um, which is Rick's label. And right. uh, hopefully. We'll get some stuff going with them, get in the studio, get some singles ready, and uh, get the ball rolling. Now, are you here for a little while? Or you just yeah, I'll, I'll be here for a while, yeah. Okay. We're not really sure how long. Originally, we scheduled for me to be here for 30 days, but with possibly signing and doing all that, I mean, I don't know how long I could be here, so. Good for you. Now you got a gig coming up at Taps tonight. Are you opening for the great Corey Cruz? Yes, I am. I'll be. We were I'll way nicer opening. to you than we were to Corey Cruz. <laughs> when he was here. We beat him up pretty bad, but he was a great sport about it. So you're playing at Taps, opening for him. Yep, I'll be there at seven o'clock tonight, opening up for him, playing from about seven to nine, um, with a couple breaks in between. Right. Oh yeah, playing all original stuff, all stuff that I've written. I've come this far completely on my own. Never had any vocal lessons and songwriting lessons it's everything i have has pretty much been all me throughout the entire way through i don't know chords i can't read music i don't know anything but i just play it and it, it sounds cool and people seem to love it the reaction i get from everyone i mean i've sent my demo to a lot of industry professionals and i've gotten nothing but positive feedback nice now what are you writing songs about is it the traditional rock star um, he she broke my heart love, no love, no love, no lost, i, I mean you. yeah of course Facebook, everybody this, Twitter, every, that. everybody writes about love come on i mean now, if there but, wasn't uh, yeah if there was no uh there would be no songs if it wasn't for love songs right exactly but i i also like to write write about other things you know crazy girl the message of of that song like the last line says you know the world is crazy but that doesn't mean we are you know there's a lot that goes on and being a young teenager in this world you know fitting in with the reputation and the, you know, social media and, well, how many followers do you have? You know, it's this whole big... How many followers do you have? I don't know how many I have. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> it's all about the competition and the reputation. Yeah. And, and the likes. Right, and, and you're trying to figure out shares. who you are while you're trying to figure out what you want to do. And, you know, it's it's a lot to be a teenager growing up in this world trying to figure out who you are, you know? I mean, while, while trying to go to college and, and all of that, so... Um, I plan to speak to my to my generation, you know, and write about things besides love, you know. I, uh, that's kind of the plan, <laughs> and it's going well so far. Samantha Grace is my guest. Coming in with Christian, who joined us earlier. We're still all hanging around. Tom Schmore taking some pictures. Thank you very much for coming in. What else you got you. coming up with the boys locally here? So you're going to spend some time here lo with some local producers? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're going to get in the studio probably this next week or so, next couple of weeks, and uh, get two singles together, Crazy Girl, the last song I did, and then I hope the one I did earlier that I messed up because I just finished it. Okay. And I went for it. I was like, all right, I'll remember the lyrics, Sam. And then I got there, and I was like, oh, no, I forgot. Em. I thought you but messed I up just, your lyrics. But I, I looked just... over at you. You <laughs> shot a big smile back like, yeah, that happens. Yeah, it does. It does. What's my first? time on the radio too so you know the nerves a little bit the first couple of songs but but yeah so that's those two will be uh, my first singles that we're going to release and get a music video together for definitely crazy girl not sure about i hope yet and then uh release them and start pushing them and see where it goes nice samantha grace is our musical guest today catch her at taps tonight seven o'clock she's playing live opening for Corey cruz christian there's something you want to say on the way out you're tired eh bro you've been up late Watching Bad Grandpa with Sam. <laughs> bad Grandpa with Sam. We were watching Bad Grandpa last night. Yep. Christian just slept through it. Nicely done. So you're gonna you, you still taking naps? No. No, you're past the nap stage. All grown up now. <laughs> Thanks to my guests today and for the production crew that's standing around me, Derek Overholt for shooting some video for me. What's that? Hit it. Good luck, Sam. 
Thanks, Ryan. Right. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Tom Schmore for taking us some pictures. And most of all, Drew Comerford running the board. Thank you, brother. We'll see you next Sunday at noon, live right here. I'm Jim Fannin, and I'm out.